Hi guys, welcome back to Gracie's Journey and God's Faithfulness. Sorry for the past two weeks I have not uploaded a video. The reason is because we all got sick and I was busy taking care of the family. But we are all okay now, thank God. We are doing really well. And Gracie's Journey and God's Faithfulness continues. So the last video we spoke about the fight for us to get the doctors to agree to do the surgery and the race against time and also getting Gracie to the weight she needed to be in order to get the surgery. So finally Gracie got her surgery date. The, the surgery was scheduled for her to have open heart surgery because that's something Gracie really needed. So finally it was approved and the morning of the surgery, I went to the hospital early as usual. And then we prepared Gracie. I helped with that, put on her robe for her, made sure everything was okay. The doctors came in, the doctor came in and marked where the surgery was, put a sign there. And then when it was time to roll her to pre-op, we rolled her. I went with them. I went into pre-op with Gracie and there was some paperwork to be done. Um, I, we did it. Questions were asked. I answered the questions. And then when that was done, they took Gracie from me and they went to the OR. They rolled her to the OR. I was told to go back to the OR waiting room at pre-op. It was just one parent who was allowed to go in there. So I went in and then both of us, my husband and myself, both of us were allowed to go to the OR waiting room. When we got there, we were asked to register. We had to register. We registered. Now, before surgery, they had told us that this open heart surgery would take five hours. But when we went to register, um, when the lady looked on her book, she re she told us that the the surgery would take seven hours. That was something new. Um, but we registered and we waited. There was a screen and her name was on there. She had a number there and you would see at what stage where they were and, and what was happening. So we sat there and we waited. My husband and I were sitting right in front of that screen. So during the day later on, um, the nurse practitioner came and she, she when she came, she came looking for us. And she when she saw us, she, she looked at us like, a puzzled look on her face and I was like what's wrong and she was like everybody in this room look worried they look sad but the two of you are just there like there's nothing going on your daughter is having open heart surgery but you guys are just sitting there with a smile on your faces and I was like I told you God is in there with grace grace is in God's hand and grace is going to be okay God is with her and I know that she's okay, so she's going to be okay. She looked very, very puzzled to see that we didn't have any worries. We were just sitting there waiting for our daughter to finish surgery where she would go back to the room and we would be able to go back and see her. So we waited and the surgery took more than five hours. It didn't take seven hours. And finally, like during the day, you see surgeons coming out. They were meeting with different families and we we're just sitting there waiting for um, Gracie's surgeon to come out to greet us and to tell us how the surgery went. But he came out, he shook our hands, he ushered us into a room and he said the surgery was done. Gracie was good. The surgery was okay. He told us um, they had to patch one of the, 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 the VSDs and they were able to close um, many of the small ones, but there was just one that they didn't close, but it was very small and it would close in with time. It will, it will close. So I was like, thank God. And he told us that Gracie's chest is still open and that she would go back to the CCU. That's intensive care, cardiac intensive care. Um, unit she would go back there with her chest open i was not surprised because they had told us that from before there was a chance that she would go back with her chest open because 
it would have put too much stress on her it might be too much for them to close it so if that was the case they would take her back with her chest open he warned us about that we were not surprised we were not alarmed we were expecting that this would probably be the case so we stayed there and we didn't see that gracie was out of surgery on the screen um but then the doctor told us she was in the recovery room and when they were done with her they would call us so whilst we were there later on they finally called us we went to the room when we went to the room i saw wires and wires all over gracie i saw machines and machines on, on gracie attached to gracie i saw nurses busy busy going back and forth on gracie and my heart did not sink and i thank god so much for the strength that he gave me I was so happy that Grace finally got the surgery that she needed in order for her to get better, for her to go home. When we went in, they allowed us to come close to her just to see her for a brief, a brief um, visit. And they told us to go sit down in a corner. We could have seen her and I did not fe feel offended when they told us to go in a corner because I could see that they were very, very busy working on Grace. At a time, I saw they put so much ice all over Gracie's head, on her head, all over her. Gracie had ice all over her. Gracie had a previous surgery. I did not see so much, but this one, I know it was more intense. It was, it was open heart surgery and she had ice all over her head. She had a machine. They said they had, she had machines all over her and they said her carbon dioxide she was not breathing it out they put this machine that was just making so much noises and they said it wasn't working so they they were just constantly doing stuff to help grace but i i want to stop here and, and i just want to say god is so good within all of this time we're sitting there and we are watching the people work on gracie doctors nurses and all these people are just there working on Gracie, a whole team. And God gave us the strength. I did not see my husband scared. I did not see panic in his face. I was not afraid. I did not panic. And I want to give God the thanks and the praise for the strength that he gave us to endure all of these things. Gracie lying down on, on, on the bed. Gracie's head was on a side. Like, there was no muscles in Gracie's head. Gracie was... Uh, her, when you lie down on your back, your head is like this. Gracie's head was not like this. Gracie's head was like this on a side, like on a side flat. And I watch her. And as a mother, I saw her, but it's like seeing Gracie, the, the, the healed version of Gracie, the, the child who would be able to leave because she had gotten the heart surgery. Because all along, they were telling me she would not leave. And I said, Gracie's only problem is a heart. And if you fix Gracie's heart for her, Gracie will leave. This is her biggest problem, her heart issue. She needs the heart surgery. And she finally got that. And to see her lying down there, thinking back, to be honest with you, going back to these places, it's hard. But I'm grateful to God for the strength that he gave us to continue to advocate for grace, to continue pushing and continue to be there and not giving up. Those of you who are watching for the first time, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And please comment in the comment section below. And if there's anybody who is, who is going through this journey with a child with trisomy 18 or who has gone through it i would really like to hear from the trisomy community tell us your journey tell us what you've been through when we saw grace gracie's chest the stoma was open her chest right there it was open she had this plastic covering like clear up over her chest she had something kind of it looked like a bone but I, I don't know what it was I can't say it was a bone to me it looked like that a white thing like this across her chest to keep the stoma open and then they had put the the clear up over it and they were working on Gracie we stayed there 
pretty late that night and we went home the next day when we went back to the hospital we saw Gracie things had calmed down a bit and when we saw her she was still under she was heavily sedated which is understandable because she just had surgery and she was um she was sleeping well she was sedated and I saw on her chest they had put a, a white rag on her chest and I remember asking the nurse if I if she could just lift up the rag so I could see Gracie's chest I, I could just look at I could just look at her chest where she had the surgery and she told me sure and she lifted the 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 the, the rag and I looked at Gracie's chest I took a video of Gracie's chest, but I will not post the video because it's really graphic. I will not put it there. I The reason I took the video, I said when Gracie got older, I would like to show the video to Gracie if she's able to watch it. And I watched Gracie. I could see Gracie's heart. I could see Gracie's lungs. When she was breathing, I could see the lungs coming like this, and I could see the heart. All of these things just white the heart is white the lungs white and it's like it was it's, it's, there's a pool of blood pool of liquid it's red in the chest and I could see it when Gracie was breathing I could see her lungs going like this across and I could see the heart and the I don't know if this is too much information I really don't know and the clear the plastic she had on there that looked like clear up you know it was there and she put the thing back on her chest and I asked him how how long would she have to stay with her chest open they said they weren't sure probably seven days and they had this little thing like corset they put on her and every day they would adjust it a little bit a little bit to close the chest just a little bit every day they would do that every day they would do that they had the corset on her and they had something like it looked like thread but it was something that was really strong and they tied it up at where they they were pulling it up and it was black and Every day they would adjust it. Every day they would adjust it. And Gracie's chest remained open for seven days. Seven days she, it remained open. And then after that, they did not take her back to the OR to close it. They closed it right there in the CCU, intensive care unit. And... <sighs> I thank God. I tell you, God has given men a lot of knowledge, a lot of knowledge to be able to do such a thing and to have a person lying down in a hospital bed with their chest open for seven days. That is amazing work. God is good. And after the seven days, they closed it. Gracie had this tube inside of her where it was just pulling out um the old blood and whatever fluid that was coming out and every day the first one did not stay so long but this one stayed on grace for a while and gracie's chest gracie has so many marks scars on her chest on her sides right there are so many scars on this child but these scars they all have a story and Gracie stayed in the ICU for a while and then Gracie was transferred to the fourth floor it's a cardiac floor when you've that when you have cardiac problems after surgery after you've re recovered in the in the ICU they send you there she stayed there for a while for four weeks she stayed there for weeks and she still had the draining tube but in the next video we're going to talk about 
Gracie's time on the fourth floor and going home. Because going through this is not a one person thing. The whole family goes through it. And I thank God for the strength that he has given us. I thank God for my parents who instill the faith that I have from an early age. I thank God for that. Because if I did not have that faith, when they say there is no hope, then where is my hope, right? I thank God for my parents instilling that faith in me. God says, he promised he will never leave us nor forsake us. And I have gone through many things in life. And God has never left me. God has been with me. God has been there for me. And he is still with me. And he will continue to be there with me until I say, Lord, I don't want you no more. But I pray to God that I never say that and I continue with him. And as long as I have Christ with me, I've got everything. The journey was not easy. But God gave me the strength to endure. He gave me the strength to stand up and to advocate for our daughter. When everybody else... When... When the situation got really grim... He gave me the strength to carry on. And I just want to say thank you, Lord. Until next time, take care of yourself. Grace's journey and God's faithfulness continues.